for the lifter of our head. Thank God for Jesus. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side. We would have been swallowed up. But thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. While we're in the spirit of prayer, there's probably not a person in America or around the world that does not know uh, the recent tragedies that has gone on uh, in New Birth and that Bishop Eddie Long is up under uh, se severe scrutiny uh, during this time. And I think that we as Christians uh, should just pray. I think we should just pray. I think we should pray for everybody that is adversely affected. Everybody, just pray, cover them with the blood, cover them with prayer, lift them up in the name of Jesus and undergird them. Someone stand up. We're going to pray in the family in just a moment. Somebody said to me, uh, you haven't uh, come out and said anything publicly. I said, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. You can't, you can't make great decisions with poor information. Until you can separate facts from conjecture, there is nothing to say. So you hold your peace, keep praying. When all of this is over, one thing's for sure, somebody, if not everybody, in it is going to need the blood. And come on, somebody. Either way you cut it, the blood has never lost its power. Either way you go, I know a man from Galilee who's able to deliver you and set you free. I don't care what it is, I don't care when it is, and I don't care who it is, God said, my grace is sufficient. And so we're just standing over in the corner with a blood bucket. And whoever needs some can get some. But I don't know about you, before I sprinkle some on anybody else, if you excuse me a little bit, I want to put, put a little bit. I want to put just a little bit on myself. Glory. Anybody else in here willing to admit you need a little blood? I need a little blood. I need the blood of Jesus all over my life, every day of my life. Glory to God. Ain't going to have no headlines. I'm going to tell you right now, I need the blood. Who else needs the blood in here? If it were not for the blood of Jesus, I'd have been consumed a long time ago. I just wallow in it and lay in it and roll over in it. And every time the devil tried to kill me, I scream, the blood! The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. That's my only defense. Hey! That's my only defense. It's the blood of the Lamb. Reach out and join hands quickly. We'll take just a moment. Nobody knows what's going to uh, come out of this, but we know at the end of the day that God's in control. Amen. No weapon formed shall prosper. And when everything is said and done, God will get the victory. Can, can you say Amen. Let's just take a minute. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we stretch out our hand to you, asking you to stretch your hand out uh, over the city of Atlanta to all of those people who are affected. Uh, you know where the truth is. We know what we heard, and we know what we saw, and we know what folks said. You know what the truth is. Either way it goes, have mercy. Hallelujah. In guilt, have mercy. In innocence, have mercy. In tribulation, have mercy. Whatever happens, have mercy. As a sister church, we stand in prayer for the New Birth Church family, their staff, their friends, their members, all the people who have been saved up under that ministry down through the year. We lift up babies to you and little lambs and young children. And God, cover your people with the blood of Jesus. When everything is all said and done, let the devil know that we're shaken but not stirred. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God the best praise you got. Hey! Hey! Somebody take a minute and help me praise the Lord up in here.